Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Almost pulled out my earbud there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where the course starts. Whoops, I wanted to see the sign. No, I want to see the sign. <laughs> this is where the courses start getting trickier. So prepare your body for a higher difficulty spike than you've ever seen before. Well, actually, maybe not. I'd say that that uh, I would like to. Uh, <laughs> really? Well, I don't know about that. I found it pretty easy. No, never practice wrong. Uh, but yeah, I found it relatively easy on the original game. Then again, I was kind of overpowered in my skill. <laughs> yeah, you gotta gotta sort of kind of play. Whoop! <laughs> Sign. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's do the tournament. And yes, I'm gonna do the doubles cup first. Just because I feel like not going back over to the dorms and switching. <laughs> or, or whatnot, so here we go. Doubles cup it is. I got all the stats where I want them anyway, so this is the first real deal round on the Dunes Club. Needless to say, it's a desert course. So, uh, looking around here, you can see that there's a bunch of cacti, a bunch of waste area, and that's an exclusive thing to this course. Like, see that uh, lightish, tannish stuff? Well, not not the furthest out light stuff. There's the stuff, like, just past the rough. That, that stuff is waste area, and you definitely don't want to get in there as it really messes up with your uh, impact area and whatnot. Uh, but it's... You're generally not going to hit in that, let's just put it that way. <laughs> I mean, it'll probably happen if you're playing in doubles, because your partner will probably flub something up and... I'm on the... we're really on the fringe? Oh, I guess we are. <laughs> I couldn't really tell from that screen. Um, I'm not going to move the cursor at all, I'm just going to hit over the mark, because it's very uphill, and... Birdie, right off the bat. <laughs> that is a way to start a tournament. Let's see who's playing in this one here. We got Mr. T here. <laughs> There's real Peach, so I guess fake Peach is out there somewhere again. Who knows? Who knows? Um, uh, all I do know is that Neil is up first, so we could be anywhere. <laughs> uh, this actually looks like it's gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna have a cactus in my way. Uh, ooh, actually I'm more worried about the slope now, that it actually stuck on- Oh, 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 oh! This actually looks really good, because that slope will give me a higher trajectory. Uh, yeah... Uh, I'll hit it- oh, shoot, I'll hit it like... No, I can't hit the, the impact marker that low. Uh, well, maybe- hmm... Hmm, this is finicky with the driver. Uh, anyway, but yeah, as you can tell, with this course, it's much longer than any of the courses that you've seen thus far, so this is what makes it harder. And um, this is mainly a safe play more than anything. See, I put it right on the top slope and hopefully Neil won't have to move the cursor at all, if anything. So we're gonna see here, there it is. Voila! Birdie time! Hole three! By the way, um, I forgot to show you here. Now if you see the, like, the leaderboard, whoops, the leaderboard here, um, See, they, they didn't get four under in two holes. Like, we got two under in two holes. They got four under through six holes. So, if you're ever worried about not being able to catch up, just realize that the amount of holes left are, are a great indicator as to how much you actually have to catch up with. Because you have so and so many holes of leeway. Anyway! And, oh, I'm gonna lose a power shot. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite get that within one notch at the end. That's all right, I guess. I'm not too concerned about losing powers because it's doubles and all like that, but... You know, I still want to keep as many as I can, just for the sake of the entire round and whatnot. Um, Neil, that looks risky! You just hit that ball left and there's a bunker there! <laughs> oh, bunker! <laughs> yeah, that's not a shot that I would have played, but, well, it happened. It happened. Now let's see if I can drop and stop it. And that looks pretty good. Oh, I didn't backspin it. I thought I hit the B button twice. Well, oh, that works. <laughs> that was that was pin seeking. Whoops. Oh, oh, well that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I was mashing the buttons again. Yeah, I ended up making a replay happen. 
Oh, I shouldn't mash the buttons. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> that worked out well. Three for three. Hole four, and hopefully for four... Um, uh, boy, this four iron shot looks familiar. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like from the practice area hard mode? Uh, I don't think this is going to do what I want it to do. Well, that's not bad, actually. It would have been outside the circle in that minigame, but that's not a bad shot for an actual practical round. Uh, look at that! Four for four! This is looking great! And we're already catching up even though there are holes ahead of us. Uh, eh, eh, eh. I just don't want to be by that mound, so no power shot this time. It's... It's not that long of a par 4 or anything like that. See, 400 yards, I mean, granted, that's from the T, from a straight line to the hole, so it's actually longer than it seems. You can see I got two, 232 there, but I, I just did not want to mess with landing on that slope because then we wouldn't be able to make the green at all. But I don't think we're going to make it anyway, but that's, so that's okay. It, it had more to do with our character's distances than it had to do with actual poor shot making or anything like that, so I'm not really too concerned about that. I'm just looking for what I like to call a technically perfect round. <laughs> you know, where you shoot the absolute best score with your character's stats possible. Oh shoot, how did that even... I didn't even put spin on that. Why didn't that... I don't understand. Well... Well... Please make the putt, Neil. Oh, thank you, Neil. <laughs> Neil is really on the ball. Maybe it's that adaptive AI thing that I was talking about here. Uh, I should say, talking about earlier in the walkthrough. And... Super Top Spin! Well, I mean, I lost the power again. I, I really should hold back on using the powers until I actually need them. And shouldn't use them on these sorts of uh, shortish power fours. But, I don't know, it's just a habit to mash that B button as soon as I get my shots. And... Oh, mm, 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 well, well... That's not too good. Well, there's no wind, so that means I could potentially chip this in as long as I get a rollout going here. Uh, let's see here. I'm just, I'm, gonna let, I'm just gonna let it go. Oops, I miss hit. Well, it's probably not gonna go in then, but I just wanted to roll out and see how it goes. Yeah, that would have been a little bit right of the hole. And, I mean, it was a little bit right of the hole, but I mean, if it would have made it to the hole, it would have been a little right of it, so it doesn't really matter. As long as we keep getting the powers of birdies, I'm sure victory will be ours. Whoa, 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 whoa. Xbox D-pad, I seen that, I seen that, I seen that. <laughs> and look at that, I put the power on the shot again by instinct again, like, I mean, well, instinct, reflex, whatever you want to call it, but I didn't lose on that time, so. But I really, really gotta watch that. Use the powers when necessary. Uh, this is gonna miss, but it is gonna be in a pretty okay position. As a matter of fact, I might even be able to chip this in. Uh, yeah, let's lower it. Because all I want to do is make it roll out. Uh, eh, smidge to the left. Uh, yeah, that looks good. This, I, I did a smidge to the left because of the wind. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's the way it's done. Birdie recovery. Mm, that's... I wouldn't aim that way. But, uh, what, what is he, how is he hitting this? He's, he aimed with a three iron in front of the green, like, ju actually just at the front of the green. Then he switched to a four wood, and then he switched all the impact areas around. Like, what is, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try and pop this one up there. No spin or anything like that. I have an itch. No spin because of the wind. It should hold it back nicely. There we go. It still drops and stops. And if I would use spin, it might have backspun right off the green. So that's not something that I want to do. Mm. You know, if I had a higher drive distance, I would go for that island. <laughs> but I don't, so I'm going to have to settle for going up somewhere over there. Whoops, didn't mean to change the impact marker. And um, hope for the best. Oh, cactus? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I hit that good because I, I hit to the right of the marker and the cactus was right in front of me, but it worked out. It worked out. And... 
That's... I... Huh? Why is he aiming for the stream of cactus? Like, why doesn't he aim for the, the tops, you know, the top of the mound just left of there? I don't know, but we're in the fairway, so... Oh! That's why you don't aim for the cactuses! <laughs> uh, can I go under it? Like, can I... Are you, like, under and left? Yes. How close am I, though? Oh, I'm gonna go, like, six iron and cut down the power. It's like a punch shot of sorts. Uh, I'm gonna have to run it out and super backspin. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and hope for the best. It's not gonna be as effective by the wind because I'm hitting a lower shot. That's why I'm using the super backspin. Uh, actually, I should have let it run out. But anyway, that's not a bad shot. Considering what I was left with. Just make the putt kneel and we will be good times. I mean, we'll have good times. Yep. There we go. And they're already losing their lead there, so... So, yeah. I should say the leader's already losing their lead there. Uh, I definitely want to use a power shot this time, for realsies, like a conscious decision to use a power shot because I don't want to be on one of those slopes because the slopes are really awkward. So on top of here, out uh, of Old Smokey we go. Um, mm, that looks really good right there as long as he backspins it. Uh, what the? Ah, uh, Neil, that's not gonna even go make it up the slope. It's gonna, just gonna bounce, yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine walking up that slope on a round? Like, you couldn't drive up a slope that steep with a golf cart or something like that. You'd have to really dig in your golf cleats <laughs> to get up that thing and crawl on your hands and knees to get up a slope that's that high and... That would be fun. <laughs> there would be one tiring round if there was that many... or if there was, there was those kinds of hills in a round, but it would be fun. <laughs> um... I'm gonna go for three iron. I'm gonna have to play for some rollout here. And that should do. And hopefully the super backspin will control it. And stop and drop it. <laughs> uh, I just don't know about that wind though. Yeah, that wind. That wind. Well. Well. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that works. <laughs> I didn't know if he moved it to the, the right of the hole enough, but he did. He did. Uh, I, uh, I definitely don't want to be short and into that slope, so... Power shot it is! Again, conscious decision to hit a power shot. So, here it goes. And there it stops. But... Yes, best drive. <laughs> um... Mm, uh, that looks pretty good right there, as long as he spins it. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what he's going for there, but sometimes when he miss hits badly, it turns out good, so... Uh, that's workable. That's workable. This is like something that you would be doing on that practice screen challenge. I'm gonna hit a little bit past the mark, a little bit left. Ah! Oh! Oh, one inch for one stroke. <laughs> Well, I mean, it went 4.6 feet past, but, you know, it, it, it missed just by an inch or so. Well, 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 it's alright. We will win this tournament by loads of strokes, so <laughs> it's not a big deal whatsoever. Alright, now... Hmm... 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 Uh, there's a lot of cactuses there, so I'm, I'm not really sure where I would land that. Well, I would definitely not land it there, that's for sure. Let's see what I have here. Oh, I actually have a shot. Wow. Um, uh, uh yeah, conscious decision to power, because I kind of, kind of need that extra height there to stop it where I want it to. Oh, I lost the power, but that's okay. I'm at hole 13 now, so I am ahead of the power curve, I guess you can say, of... Like, I, I say what I like to do is use three powers max per nine. So, you know, that I, you know, that I have enough for if the situation presents itself. And wow, we're six ahead now. <laughs> All right. You know, rip this one. Oh, we really ripped that one. <laughs> Perfectly struck. Uh, and that mound, it'll just bounce right over perfectly. There we go. 193 to the pin. Don't let me down, Neil. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm saying that with uh, very little faith. <laughs> Actually, this looks pretty good. Uh, oh, no, 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 that's pretty far off. That would be a shot that people would hit in real life, but not in Mario Golf. Oh, no, 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 not Mario Golf. Anyway, low trajectory, gonna try chipping this in. I aimed it pretty far left of the hole. Low trajectory 7 iron, I should say. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so close, so close. Alright, get the par. And get out of here. There we go. Woo! 15, and, and. This is a small green. Yeah, that's another thing about this course, that the greens are much smaller than they were before. Uh, I'm gonna do that and super backspin. How does that sound? Why super backspin? Because I'm using a four wood. That's not the easiest club to stick a ball on the green with. See what I mean? <laughs> I did my best. I mean, my ball landed close to the front edge and it moved up and it bounced all the way over to the back rough. So, I literally did my best. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I could have hit it further back and then super backspin it, but you know, it's, it's really hard to be that precise on a shot. But anyway... Get oh no, that's bunker time. I, wait, actually no, that's not even gonna make it to the bunker. Wow. Uh, well, we're not making this par four and two. How about how about I try and get? Wow, that is a awkward looking mound there. How would I actually plop us down over here? That sounds like a good idea. Six iron, strategic play. There it goes. And it should get past the cactus. Yep, that looks good to me. And Neil shouldn't have any issue with this shot whatsoever. In theory. Come on, adaptive AI. Work for me here. <laughs> and, and, and. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice, adaptive AI. <laughs> Alright. Do I have to move the cursor? I think I do just a smidge. So I moved it a smidge, hit a little bit past the mark. And it goes right in the center. Beautiful. Two holes to go. That's a really narrow green. But it's a power five, so it doesn't make much of a difference. By the way, you seen that patch of fairway um, just north of where the cursor was? That's the spot that you want to hit if you want to get the technically perfect scores. Uh, if you have higher character stats, because it'll allow you to cut off a lot of the course. But since we don't have that, we're going to go take the long way around here. And, by the way, they do have holes like this in real life, where you where you island hop like that, it's really cool. Uh, don't, wait, wait, hold on, don't go in the rough, don't go in the rough. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. I just wanted to be on top, and I got on top. But, if I was in the rough, that could have been trouble. Wait a second. Wait a second. How does one miss it that badly? <laughs> wow! And this is a narrow landing area, as I said. Well, I'm gonna try and make it run out. And run to the hole with an approach shot and then stop it. I just want to get it to have some sort of predictable landing. Yeah, that's perfect, right there. Well, I guess technically perfect is in the hole. But I mean, uh, perfect as is what I was aiming to do, is to get on the flat spot. And I don't mean technically perfect for a technically perfect round either. I'm saying just for with what we had to work with there. And uh, the phone is ringing. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Um, um, um. And Neil's about to shoot. Well, maybe you can wait. <laughs> this is the last hole, and I really don't feel like just cutting just for a little smidge of what's left over in the parts, so I'll call back whoever it is after the parts, if need be. I can't tell who it is because I have earbuds in and the door is closed and everything like that, so it's just gonna have to be a mystery for right now. For now, though, I do think this is gonna be a good shot. In fact, a very good shot! Oh! <laughs> so close! So, so close. And there's our par. 8 under par for 18 holes. No one finished under par again. How embarrassing. So embarrassing. But, it is done. Dune's Double Cup is a victory. And, and, and. We can finally do some more level ups to her. Do a little 
level up the him, finish off with her. There we go. Uh, straighten out the shots, add some power. That looks good to me. Uh, how about we go and then... Uh, everything's so good, actually. Jive distance! Because jive distance, I guess, is the only thing that's not up to par compared to the rest. Uh, and sometimes you don't want, to, want the stats to be like super, super maxed out because sometimes it makes things really hard to control. Like if you like a draw, uh, maybe you don't want the draw all the way over to the right because that's it, it might be hard to control in like wind and stuff like that. So maybe you just want a little bit of a draw. Just well, it all depends on your. Oh, you even beat the high score. Wow, I didn't think eight under was enough for that, but we did it. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, thing about it is that if you uh, overdo any of the stats, it, you, it might actually hurt your game. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! All right. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I go and do... I think you're guessing what I'll be doing, but I will be doing... The doubles match between Azalea and Tiny. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes. <laughs>